Hi there, it's Tribe by DIY here. This is a next instalment of me trying to learn to weld. Uh, in the first instalment, I showed you what I've got and how we're, uh, I've got unboxing. I uh, did the unboxing video. Uh, this one, so now I've got it all pretty much set up. I put the flux cord through, uh, flux wire. Uh, this is what I've got. I've got 0.9 mil wire. I've been reading up a lot on this, and obviously there's various different wires, but reading on this on these gasless uh, setups, uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0.9. Uh, they're set up to do most sort of jobs uh, for the sort of home DIY wire. Uh, this stuff tends to work quite well for the gasless setup, not for the gas setup. If you're looking at the gas setup, then obviously their uh, the setup of the wires is very, very different. So I'm not, comp I'm not going to compare to two, the two. This is more for the gasless one. Uh, and I have read up on various YouTube sites and that that this sort of wire can is quite good for thin metals as well. But obviously, it's down to the setup of your uh, of your gear. Uh, and the tensions and things like that, which I've got to learn about. So, but this is mainly to set up the actual uh, wire flux. It's corded wire itself, uh, the wire flux. So uh, this is how I've set it up. I've got the reel on. Comes with a wing nut. Uh, that comes off. Unscrews. Uh, this bit unscrews as well. And there's a spring. And then put it on this way round with the. Uh, uh, with the with the writing set up, the label set up uh, facing you. Uh, so it's spring tension, very important the spring tension. So that goes on there. The wing nut just goes that cross cross thread in it. So this goes on there like that. Uh, so it needs to be fairly free. Uh, this bit here undoes. That goes up like that, and this comes out like that. And you feed the wire through through this sleeve here into into a hole. That's in there. That just goes into there. Uh, so that just goes into there and just feed it through. And then what's next is I'm going to plug it in. Uh, still got a loan of tensions before I start welding. I'm nowhere near starting my first weld yet. So I'm just getting to know the machine. I'm doing a lot of research on YouTube and on, on online and various books, getting some some of these really really serious professional welders, getting as much information I can from them. Obviously, a lot of it contradicts each other. Everyone has their own way of welding. Uh, they're perfect setups, uh, so I've got to get to understand that. But the first thing I'm going to do, I need to feed through the wire right to the gun. So the wire's all set up, and then I'm going to uh, see where I go from there. But that's how to get feed the, the wire through. So that goes back. That goes in there, and then lock it in. Obviously, a lot of you out there going, oh, you got it wrong, oh, you're doing it wrong already. I'm prepared for that, I'm learning. Uh, this wheel in there, you got two grooves. You got a groove for the thicker gauge wire, and you got a groove for the thinner grade grade wire. So that that comes off, and then you can turn the, that reel around. So that's something to consider as well. But obviously, if you're welding for the first time, you need to read up as much as you can before you actually get going, because if you don't get this right, you're going to be uh, <coughs> you're going to you're going to lose momentum straight away because you're going to think, oh, I'm not going to be any good at this. So get to know your machine first before you actually start welding, so you understand things that can go wrong, things that you need to know about tensions and uh, setting up your wire and stuff because apparently that is that seems to be the way forward is getting everything right first before you start. 
Right, so before you start feeding the, uh, the Y through, it advises you, it tells you to take the cup off. So I'm going to take the end off, so you, you turn it clockwise, and then same as clockwise, uh, anti clockwise for the end. So and now we're going to uh, start feeding the uh, the wire through. So it says you on the dial to wire speed of set to five between five and six. Uh, set to uh, minimum. We've got maximum minimum on here, so set to minimum. Uh, plug in. Keep your earth cable away from anything. Don't touch the end. So we're going to start feeding the wire through. So we'll see how this goes. So feeding that through now. That seems to be uh, working through. Just, just show you. Watch the reel going through. So it doesn't seem to catch up. The actual everything about it seems quite free throwing. There's no tangles or anything like that. And I'm just pressing the button. Obviously, just do it a bit at a time. Eventually, it should find its way through. I mean, the earth cable's not set up or anything like that, so you can't uh, electrocute yourself at the moment. I'm just doing short spurts because I'm careful about not. I don't want to uh, overdo it too much in the uh, book. So that's what's happening there. So it's pushing, looks like it's pushing something through. So I don't know if the wires got caught up or something. So let me have a look at that. So I've got the wire coming through, you can just see that, that's the wire coming through now. So uh, we're now fed through, quite happy with that, that's worked out quite easy. So I'm starting to learn how to use the machine. So uh, I'm going to turn the machine off now, put the cups, the cup back on and uh, see what the next step is. Right, so I'm just going to put the cup, put the end back on. Uh, this is the one it's come with. So this is the one I'm going to uh, start with. So I'm going to tighten that up. Put the cup back on. Just push down. That's on. And then just cut the end off a little bit. And uh, that's me fed the wire through. So any uh, any comments, please give me any comments. I'm open to so much advice here. Anything I might have done wrong, anything you notice, please give it please please tell me. It's definitely worth knowing this sort of stuff because I'm a uh, this is not a how-to video, this is my journey of me learning to uh, set up machine and start welding. Thanks for watching.